Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. We're going to talk a little bit of mountain weather. First off, a beautiful day here in Colorado after the uh, cold front moved through with a few inches of new snow up there at uh, Vail. I just love that shot looking back towards the Gore Range there. They're opening on November 19th. Picked up a few inches up at Loveland and A Basin, and it looks like six or seven up around Aspen and Snowmass. So good now, but uh, we're back to clear skies. It's probably going to be five to seven days before we see anything significant in Colorado. Here are my bullet points. So we have a big pattern change coming, but not until on or after 11.13, and then it would continue to probably 11.18 across the west. And it's the same thing I've been talking about for a while. The low is going to come out of the Pacific Northwest BC, where it's going to snow hard, and then it's going to dive down towards the west coast, California. Now, what happens at that point after it's still relatively up in the air? We've been chasing a lot of different things over the last three or four days. But right now, the snow amounts from where they were three or four days ago are definitely trending down. They've come up a little bit, but they're definitely trending down. And the real, the real question mark at this point is what's going to happen with the atmospheric river contribution? Yeah, right now, it looks like there's going to be a weak contribution. And here's what it comes down to. Here's the very latest. <clears throat> So this is a blend of a couple of different models that we use for this. And you can see out there past 12, 13, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, right now the consensus is for uh, a weak contribution. And if that's the case, then we will stick with the, the lower numbers in the Sierra, for example, and across the interior. But, you know, we three or four or five days ago we were talking feet. Now we're, we're definitely, we've definitely trimmed that number down based on what we're seeing here. But it could still happen. If we push into a moderate intensity, and this is integrated vapor transport, that's the forecast you're looking at, so moisture into the central coast of California, um, into that lat lawn area. But if it pushes into moderate or even strong, then that changes everything. So we're just going to have to wait and see how all that uh, works out. All right, let's go back. I want to show you what it looks like right now. On uh, This is water vapor, so oranges and reds are your drier air aloft. So what we want to look at or where the, where's the moisture, and it's up here. This is the big low, nailing Alaska. It's gonna nail BC, especially the coastal range down to Whistler Blackcomb and into parts of Washington State. We're gonna see overrunning snow into Banff and interior BC as well. But it's that low that eventually it's gonna dive down here and be the pattern changer. There's also a low here that will be incorporated into the subtropical jet, which will become a player. So it's gonna ride it and then eventually but here's the main flow around this area of low pressure. And so that's going to be the key in the uh, the forecast. Let me show you how this looks. Forecast radar and satellite. Um, here we go into tomorrow morning. You can see all that snow up there through uh, BC tomorrow afternoon. And then on Saturday morning, starting to make its way into Washington State, into Banff. There's Saturday, uh, Sunday morning. Uh, low still transitioning. It takes a sweet time. There's no question. Here we are by Monday, and there we are on Tuesday. You can start to see the return flow. The subtropical jet starts to become a factor, starts to pump that moisture into California, um, and one more frame here. So by the end of the day on Tuesday, um, that's the way it looks. So things really start to get cranking, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But again, there's still question marks. All right, let me show you... Um, Jet stream. So this is 1115. You can clearly see the trough, very large trough, area of low pressure right there. Some decent ore graphics into California, and the real and you can see the subtropical jet involvement is is pretty good. Is pretty good. Um, so we're gonna have to wait and see how much pure moisture we can work in here because we'll get some more graphics out of this. All right, so that's 1115. Now this is after it's basically done, the very tail end on 1118. The lows coming out, exiting Colorado, Wyoming, uh, New Mexico, somewhere in there. So it's exiting. Uh, and what you see on the backside would be a different pattern. Um, so it's the jet has shifted back to the north, favoring the Pacific Northwest and BC for a continuation of heavy precipitation there. As far as totals go, quiet period here for the lower 48 except for Washington State through the 12th but big numbers up there through Baker, Rainier, Stevens Pass, Whistler that coastal range is going to get slammed with a couple of feet um, through the interior a little bit less there probably two to six through Banff into Kicking Horse, Fernie, Revelstoke. Um, period two obviously is is what we're really watching here um, so the numbers have crept back up a little bit one to two feet there from Mammoth into Heavenly um, 
uh, again, just you know, really going to depend on how much moisture we can uh, we can we can bring in with the the atmospheric river connection, um, and decent into the interior, depending on the ultimate track of the low that kicks out of California. Um, but late in that period is when we would see that snow through Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, and also New Mexico. That's the way things are shaping out, uh, shaking out right now. Guys, always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.